what is the difference between overloading and overriding now this is a very important question and asked in many many interviews differences questions are the favorite of interviewers because in this way they can check uh, two concepts with single question okay we already discussed overloading in previous videos now let's see method overriding here you can see the code here we have two different classes one is base class and another is derived class which is inherited from the base class okay and both of these classes have same name methods with same parameters and everything is same so whenever we want to overwrite some methods we have to use virtual keyword in the base method and put override keyword for overrided method okay then when you will create the object of the derived class and call the methods greeting then it will call derived class method not the base class method okay in this way we have uh, we have done over we have overrided the base class method now let's conclude some points about method overriding first is in method overriding multiple methods of same name are in different classes okay inheritance is used as the methods are in different classes both methods have same signature it's a runtime polymorphism okay overriding is virtual and override keywords are used in overriding i hope uh, you understand these points now if we compare uh, these points with the method overloading then here are the differences in method overloading multiple methods of same name in single class in method overriding man multiple methods of same name but in different class in method overloading no need of inheritance at, as it is in same class but in method overriding inheritance base class derived class are there as it is in different classes then in overloading all methods have different signature okay but in overriding all methods have same signature overloading is a kind of compile time polymorphism and overriding is a runtime polymorphism and overloading no special keyword is used whereas in overriding virtual and override keyword is used i hope the differences are clear to you and you can remember three to four differences out of uh, all these differences that will be great now here is a practical question what is the use of overriding when should i override the method in real applications in other words uh, like why to override the base method in derived class why not create a new method in the derived class okay suppose we have a project with technology based class like this code okay here we have two virtual methods technical skill and communication skill then you derive this class in other classes like java and .net okay now whenever you create the object of java and .net the object will automatically get the base class methods right that is the concept and that is fine this technical skill coding is a skill required for both java and dotnet technologies right but suppose tomorrow you want to create a class testing like this here you want to inherit technology base class and you need communication skill method of base class as it is okay that is fine but you do not want coding as the technical skill method now listen carefully then what you will do you will override the technical skill method like this for that you will put virtual in the base class method and override in the derived class testing method now if you create the object of the testing class you will get the overrided method and this will be the output i hope you get it right uh, one important point here this virtual keyword uh, which you have put in the base class method will not impact any of other derived class like dot net java it not uh, impact anything negatively to it so overriding is used to modify and provide a new implementation of the method inherited from a base class that is the use this gives flexibility to modifying existing method inside uh, existing method in big applications without even touching the class methods if a method is marked as virtual do we must have to override it from the child class so if you have a virtual method like this uh, do we must have to override it now if you see the java class we are not overriding the method right but still it is working fine 
so when we are creating the object of the uh, derived class uh, it is not mandatory like to uh, must to like override the method always so the answer is no overriding virtual method is optional and based on requirement if you don't override it there is no problem